what we're going to do is install an emulator or multiple emulators to your PC. It's super, super easy. I just figured that I might as well cover a video on it in case you know people don't really know how to do it, don't know where to go. So anyways, I've already got GameCube, N64, Game Boy. I do not have Nintendo yet. On my PC, I usually use my Xbox, so... Here it is. Now over to the right, I use Emulator Zone. You guys can, you know, use whatever you want, but this is a really good site. So if you look right there, um, FCE UX is a really, really good one, but also so is JNES. So that's the one we're going to download. And make sure you have the system requirement, which I'm sure you do. After that, just go ahead and download it. We're just going to go ahead and hit open. You guys can hit save if you want, but I'm going to open it anyways right away for the video. So, And again, pzip, it's free. So we are actually one second here. Because there's so many documents in this one, we want to go ahead and make a folder for it. Now I have the emulators here, but actually programs, PC, this is where I'm installing everything. New folder. This is where I install all the stuff and then just have... Um, the icons in a different folder. So anyways, we're going to extract all to hmm, where's desktop? Desktop. It's not going to let me open it. That's awesome. Ah, we'll just extract it to the desktop. Hopefully it'll put it in a folder for us. And it didn't, but we can just move everything. Languages, da da da. Okay. So now that that's installed, <laughs> all right. Do not show this again. Okay. Now. change directory because the ROMs are in a different folder uh, where are the at alright so there are all the ROMs it's gonna take a little bit for it to load all up there as you can see the uh, scroll bar just keeps getting smaller and smaller <laughs> and it's almost done, hopefully. This and uh, N64 so far are the longest. The rest are pretty quick. So... There you have it. <laughs> that is the easiest way I know to install emulators because you don't really need to do anything. You just need to download it, find your ROMs uh, for the Wii and the Xbox, the PSP, Xbox 360, PS3, everything else. You have to either mod it or hopefully have the right firmware to just switch over to a custom firmware. So now that that's there, I'm going to go ahead and put it with the rest of my stuff. Well, the rest of the PC emulators, anyways. As you can see, here's here's the GameCube. I am going to rename them, but I mean, not really in any hurry because I know what's what. And there we have it. It's easy, guys. Really, really, really easy. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure like this, you know like the video and uh, do not forget to subscribe because there are more videos coming and uh, hopefully some giveaways if we can reach uh, 250 subscribers. So tell your friends. Thanks, guys.